I'm Bob Weeks. Do you wonder whether our elected officials and bureaucrats are looking out for your interests or only for the interests and welfare of a small group of City Hall insiders? Well, based on the process used to select a developer for the West Bank Apartments in Wichita, Wichitans need to be concerned. Here's what happened. The City uses an evaluation committee to provide advice to the City Council. The policy the City is supposed to use includes, as you can see in the City document, past project experience with the City of Wichita and also references. Here's a City of Wichita document that tells us that references were provided. So, do you wonder if the Evaluation Committee contacted these references and what did they learn? Let's consider the references listed by one team, the River Vista team. This is the team that the City selected. Here's the references supplied by George Lamb, one of the River Vista development partners. He listed Bob Layton, who is the Wichita City Manager. Well, two things. First, do you think it is appropriate for the City Manager to be used as a reference, given that anyone who reads this document would take it as an endorsement? Well, the answer is no. It's not appropriate. And a second question. Do you think it's appropriate for the city manager to endorse one of the applicants like this? Well, we don't know if the presence of the city manager's name implies an endorsement because George Lamb did not ask the city manager if he could be used as a reference. We know this because we asked. Further, whoever evaluated these development teams did not call the city manager to inquire about George Lamb. We asked about this too. But making inquiries of references, isn't that what a vetting team should do? Oh, and look who else George Lamb listed as references. Dave Unruh, Sedgwick County Commissioner. We asked him, and Lamb did not request his permission to list him as a reference, and the Evaluation Committee did not contact Unruh. There's Wichita City Council member Jeff Longwell. Same for him. And there's Wichita City Council member and Vice Mayor Pete Meitzner. Same for him. No permission and no contact by the Evaluation Committee. Okay, here's Dave Wells, another member of the River Vista Development Team. He listed Wichita Mayor Carl Brewer, District Attorney Mark Bennett, and Sheriff Jeff Easter. And Jeff Longwell and Dave Unruh make their second appearance in an apparent endorsement of this development team. We asked, and Easter did give permission to be listed as a reference, but none of the others did, and none were contacted by the Evaluation Committee. River Vista Development Team member Bill Warren dropped some big names as references. There's Kansas Governor Sam Brownback. Was he contacted for his permission to be used this way? We asked his office, and the answer was no. There's our United States Congressman from Wichita, Mike Pompeo. We asked his office, and he did not give permission for his name to be used. And when we asked if any of these officials had been contacted by the Evaluation Committee, the answer was always no. If the Evaluation Committee had contacted these officials, here's what they might have learned. About Dave Wells, the city manager might have told of cost overruns on city projects. Considering Dave Wells and Dave Burke as a team, these two were part of the original Waterwalk team. Now that's a project in downtown Wichita that's received over $40 million in public subsidy, and it's struggling to say the least. A reference check might have tipped off the Evaluation Committee about this. Or consider Dave Burke alone. A few years ago, the Wichita Eagle reported, downtown Wichita's leading developer, David Burke, represented himself as an agent of the city, without the city's knowledge or consent, to cut his taxes on publicly owned property he leases in the Old Town Cinema Plaza, according to court records in the city attorney. City officials told the Eagle that he did not have authorization to file an appeal on the city-owned parking and retail space he leases. A reference check could have uncovered this misdeed. And for Bill Warren, several of the references could have told about the bailout the city issued to his Old Town Theater. That's a bailout needed for a project built in conjunction with the city of Wichita. Wasn't one of the evaluation criteria past project experience of the city of Wichita? A reference check could have let the evaluation committee learn about all these episodes of unfavorable experience with these applicants. But really, all this information is known by the public. It's in the newspaper. 
In light of this, government officials not asked for permission to be listed as references, an evaluation committee that never contacted these references, and the information that these references could have provided. Do you think the evaluation committee fulfilled its duty to perform due diligence on behalf of the people of Wichita? And are you satisfied with the job Wichita City Hall did for you? I'm Bob Weeks. Learn more about this and other issues at Voice for Liberty at wichitaliberty.org. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel for other videos like this and like us on our Facebook page.